Hi, my name is Amanda and I'm a pharmacist. Today I'll be talking about what to expect on the PTCB exam with a content outline of the PTCE, which is the Pharmacy Technician Certification Exam. And if you find this video useful, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel and share it with others who may find it helpful too. Thanks, I really appreciate it. So first, just a little bit about the test. The PTCE, which stands for the Pharmacy Technician Certification Exam, is the test that's created by the PTCB, which is the Pharmacy Technician Certification Board, that's required for obtaining the cert Certified Pharmacy Technician Credential, or CPHT. The PTCE is a two-hour computer-based test with 90 multiple choice questions, and the PTCE content areas include knowledge about four different areas. Um, number one is medications, that's about 40% of the test. Patient safety and quality assurance, it's about 26.25%. Order entry and processing, that's 21.25%. And federal requirements is about 12.5%. We'll look at each of these in a little more detail. Um, the medications portion, um, which is 40, about 40% 40 of the test. Um, this includes generic names, brand names, classifications of medications. It, it includes information about therapeutic equivalents, which deals with generic substitutions for brand name drugs. Um, common and life-threatening drug interactions and contraindications, which includes drug disease, drug drug, drug dietary supplement, drug lab, and drug nutrient interactions. Um, includes information about medication strengths and dose, dosage forms, routes of administration, special handling and administration instructions, and duration of drug therapy. The medications um, component also includes common and, severe, common and severe medication side effects, adverse effects, and allergies, indications of medications and dietary supplements, Drug stability. This deals with the conditions and time a drug remains stable. Um, it's especially important with suspensions, insulin, injectables, and vaccinations. Um, narrow therapeutic index medications. Physical and chemical incompatibilities related to non-sterile compounding and reconstitution. And proper storage of medications. This includes temperature ranges, light sensitivity, and restricted access medications. And next, the patient safety and quality assurance um, components, which is about 26.25% of the test. If this includes high alert and high risk medications and look-alike, sound-alike medications. Error prevention strategies. Um, th these are things like getting the right medication to the right patient, um, tall man lettering, separating inventory, leading and trailing zeros, barcode usage, limiting use of error prone abbreviations and issues that require pharmacist intervention, um, drug utilization review or DUR, adverse drug events, OTC recommendation, therapeutic substitution, uh, misuse, adherence, post immunization follow-up, allergies and drug interactions. These would all be things that would need a pharmacist's attention and the pharmacy technician needs to know to, to tell the pharmacist. Um, some more patient safety and quality assurance um, areas that are covered. It includes event reporting procedures. Um, this includes medication errors, adverse effects, product integrity, med watch, near miss, and root cause analysis. Types of prescription errors. This could include abnormal doses, early refill, incorrect quantity, incorrect patient, incorrect drug, and also hygiene and cleaning standards. Um, these are things like hand washing, personal protective equipment, cleaning counting trays, countertop, and equipment. The third area of knowledge covered on the PTCE is the order entry and processing. This is about 21.25% of the test. Um, this includes procedures to compound non-sterile products, such as ointments, mixtures, liquids, emulsions, enemas, and suppositories. Um, formulas, calculations, ratios, proportions, allegations, conversions, um, SIG codes like BID, TID, and also knowing the Roman numerals, abbreviations, medical terminology, and symbols for day supply, quantity, dose, concentration, and dilutions. Um, also equipment and supplies required for drug administration such as package size, unit dose, diabetic supplies, spacers, and oral and injectable syringes. 
and just a few more order entry and processing um, knowledge areas it includes lot numbers expiration dates and uh, national drug code or NDC numbers and I'll give you a little extra information about that here in a minute um, also included are the procedures for identifying and returning dispensable, non-dispensable, and expired medications and supplies. Um, this includes things like credit return, return to stock, and reverse distribution. And just a, a little more information about the NDC number. Um, it, it's a unique 10 or 11 digit number assigned to each medication, and it's divided into three segments. The first segment of numbers is the manufacturer code. The middle segment is the product code, and the last segment is the package size. So I have an example here. Um, you can see uh, the 0143, that's, that is Westward Pharmaceuticals is what that code means. The 9939, that is the product code, so this product is amoxicillin 500 milligrams. And the 05 on the end, that's the package size, so this is a pack size of 500 capsules. So just a little extra information there that's helpful to know. And the last knowledge area of the PTCE um, is the, are the federal requirements. This is about 12.5% of the exam. Um, the things you need to know with it are federal requirements for handling and disposal of non-hazardous and hazardous pharmaceutical substances and waste, federal requirements for controlled substance prescriptions like new refill and transfer prescriptions, and the DEA controlled substance schedules. And, on the next slide, I'll tell you a little bit more about those, just to give you a little overview of that. Um, also, for federal requirements, this includes um, federal requirements for the DEA and the FDA for controlled substances, including receiving, storing, ordering, labeling, dispensing, reverse distribution, take-back programs, and loss or theft of those products. And a few more things of federal requirements that are included in this area includes um, federal requirements for restricted drug programs and related medication processing, um, includes pseudoephedrine cells, risk evaluation mitigation strategies, and also the FDA recall requirements, uh, medications, devices, supplies, supplements, and classifications of, of dealing with recalls. And just a little more information, just the, so that you can know about the DEA controlled substance schedules. Um, there are five schedules of DEA that the DEA has given for controlled substances. Um, schedule one, these are drugs with no medical use and have a high abuse potential. Schedule two drugs are have a high potential for abuse and dependence. Schedule three drugs are moderate to low dependence and less potential for abuse, but there still is potential. Schedule four drugs have a low dependence and abuse potential and Schedule 5 have a lower potential for abuse. So you can see that the lower the schedule number, the more abuse and dependency potential that there is. And just to finish up here, I will give you some study tips for the four content areas. It's just kind of a review and just a, um, some good things to focus on for the PTCE. Um, with medications, remember this was 40% of the exam, so that's going to be the bulk of the exam. Um, some good things you can do are review the top 100 and top 200 drugs and flashcards or lists to learn the brand and generic names and indications. Um, for the patient safety and quality assurance um, knowledge areas, which it's a pretty good amount of um, material for the test as well, 26.25%. Um, be sure you have a good understanding of medication error prevention and reporting, hygiene standards, and when pharmacist interventions are required. For the order entry and processing knowledge areas, this was 21.25%, so pretty good amount there as well. Be sure you know SIG codes, how to do calculations, um, know about lot numbers and NDC numbers, about expiration, um, expiration laws and the dates, and about returns. And for, federal requir for the federal requirements knowledge area, this was about 12.5%. Um, be sure to know DEA controlled substance laws, FDA recall requirements, and handling and disposal of pharmaceuticals. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video with others who may find it helpful, and please subscribe to see more of my drug information videos. Thank you.